Hi, it's Chester Tugwell from Blue PK Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at uh, using comparison operators within the count ifs function. Now, the same rules will apply also to the sum ifs or the count if or the sum if function. I've just happened to chose uh, the count ifs function for demonstration purposes. Now, um, let's take our example here. What we've got is basically uh, a list of products, uh, their expiry date and their quantity. We're only really going to be using this quantity column in this example. Um, and here are our comparison operators. And we're just going to explore different scenarios. Um, we want to explore, for example, uh, where we have uh, the operator and the number in a cell, and we want to use the criteria pointing to a cell with that criteria in. Uh, we're going to look at it where we just use the comparison operator referenced in the cell and then use the actual number within the formula and all the different kind of uh, variations of that. Uh, we have a reorder below value in M1 which we will be using with these comparison operators. So in our first example what we're going to do is just reference both the operator and the number within this column here. So this will assume you already know how to use uh, the counters function. It's not really a tutorial on that. It's more about the comparison operators themselves. So I'm going to start with uh, my countifs function. Now you'll know that um, it has a minimum of two arguments here. Criteria range 1. So this is my criteria range here, my quantity column. So I'm going to click into C2, control shift down arrow key, probably know as a shortcut that will select down to the last consecutive value in that column. So that's my, um, my criteria range. I'm going to F4 it to make it absolute, so that when we copy this formula down, it still looks in the same range. And then comma, my criteria is going to be in F2. So all I need to do, if I've got both the operator and the number, within the cell, I just need to point at it like that, close the bracket, press enter, copy it down, and it does indeed um, perform that criteria within my countis function. So that's quite simple. Our next scenario is where our operator and number are within the formula. Now normally it's good practice within Excel to not hard code um, values within a cell but we'll, we'll use this example just so uh, you can see how it works. So what we're going to do is we'll do our countifs function again and our criteria range is uh, exactly the same and we are going to say greater than or equal to 50 but please note both the comparison operator and the number needs to be in double quotation marks. Not just the number, not just the comparison operator. Both need to be in the double quotation marks. A bit like if you were referencing text, for example. Now what I'll do is I'll just make... Uh, no, I'm not going to copy that down. Uh, I'm not going to waste time putting all these different comparison operators in. But I should get a 13 and I do. Now, operator in cell number in formula. So operator in cell number in formula. So start my count ifs again. Same range. And I will make this absolute this time because I'll be copying it down. And so the operator in the cell. So I'm going to refer to that in E2. And then I want to concatenate it. So the concatenation symbol is the ampersand that joins things together. That's what concatenation means. And I'm concatenating with a value hard-coded into the formula. Again, not best practice. 50. Press enter and you can see that that works. So just as a little recap, it's the cell reference concatenated with the number. No double quotation marks or anything like that. You just need to uh, uh, put that in. If I copy that down, that should work as well quite nicely. Now, uh, operator in formula, number in cell. So let's do that basically the other way around. 
So our range is the same. Okay, so um, we are saying operator in formula. So I'm going to put my greater than symbol in. Now that will have to go in double quotation marks. So if you're using the operator on its own within the formula, then you've got to use the double quotation marks. And then what I need to do is um, join it. So that's the ampersand symbol again with the number, the reorder below threshold, which is an N1. So I can point to that quite easily and then just close the brackets, press return and you can see that works. I'm not going to copy it down because it would require me to put in my different comparison operators and so that would be uh, not a good use of your time, but you can see how it works. Now operator and number in separate cells, so we're going to be referring to that and to that cell. Now this one's quite simple to do, so we can do equals count ifs, and we are referring to the quantity column again, and we are saying that we want to um, refer both to the comparison operator, so it's E2, and then what we need to do is just join it together with the ampersand and point to the N1. Okay, now I should better copy that down. I need, need, need to make that absolute and that absolute. And then I'll better copy that down. And you can see that it produces the same results as the other columns. So, I mean, best practice is always to um, refer to values in cells rather than hard code those values within the formulas. But you can see that there are a variety of different ways that you can combine numbers and comparison operators. Now if you go to, um, uh, there'll be a little message that comes up on this video, but if you click on that link, um, you'll better go to our download page for this particular file, where you can see all the completed examples. Um, and there will also be other videos on comparison operators and dates using wildcards, and all also case sensitive uh, um, count ifs. So okay check out um, the uh, our YouTube channel for those other videos and go to our uh, download page, download this file uh, which will have all the examples in and uh, you should be up and going. Okay thank you very much.